to another edition of Let's Football Live. Now, a special guest I have with me today, as I say hello to everybody uh, on a Wednesday evening, actually comes from Goa. And uh, as surprising as it may sound, he's actually the first person from Goa who we've got on uh, Let's Football Live. We've had Hugo Bumu in the past from FC Goa. He's not a Goan, but technically he could be counted as one. Right, so uh, without getting distracted any further, as I say hello to everybody who's joining us on this uh, broadcast of Let's Football Live. Uh, this Goan comes from Nuvem. Uh, he's somebody who's, uh, whose performances have been lauded to no end in the last couple of seasons of the Hero Indian Super League. He's a vital cog in the wheel for Mumbai City FC and the Indian national football team. Hello, Mumbai City FC, and I'm sure you know exactly who I'm uh, talking about. But uh, he's also got a very unique identity or a unique record against his name. He's somebody who scored an own goal, provided an assist and scored a goal in the same game. Now that's as rare as, uh, as rare can be in the Hero Indian Soup League. And that, that's something that he did in 2018-19 while playing for Northeast United FC. Uh, but, you know, as it turned out, that goal was the winner. Six of his, uh, four of his six goals in the ISL have turned out to be winners. He's got a habit of uh, really being counted when it, when it matters. His main job is to be in the middle of the park, to be tackling, to be intercepting. That's why he was up there in the numbers as far as Mumbai City FC are concerned. So let's go straight to Goa, where we've got Roland Borges waiting for us. And hello, Roland Borges. How are you, my friend? Hi. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for doing this. Are you in Nuvem as we speak right now in Goa? Yes, yes, I am in Nuvem, Goa. Okay, okay, Roland. The, the first complaint I had, I've had from lots of fans in the past, is that Roland Borges is way too shy. He doesn't talk enough, and he only smiles. Look, if you're just smiling through the rest of this interview, I'm fine with that as well. But ideally, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to know more from you. And look at that, Rainier is online as well. He's saying Baba re Baba. <laughs> A message to Rainier Fernandez, Roland, before we get cracking. <laughs> Rainier, two words for you, my. <laughs> now, Roland, I, see, uh, there's this accusation of uh, of you, you know, only smiling and not talking enough to people because you're that shy. But there's another accusation that you've been to guys like David Williams, Eric Patilu, uh, even to Amrinder Singh because they've been saying some really nice things about you on Let's Football Live. I mean, what's this whole story about? Why is why is everybody praising Roland Borges so much? Maybe I guess I'm a different person when I'm on the field and when I'm different, I'm different person when I'm off the field. Maybe off the field, you won't see me my, talking too much. But uh, uh, who am I? I'm very comfortable with. I talk a lot to them. But on the field, I'm a different person. I want to win. I want to fight. Trust me, trust me, we know a thing or two about that. We've, we've seen you. <laughs> Kuri Rani is also on, on this. He's saying, Rola Gol Marega. I'm <laughs> guessing that's a goal thing, Kuri. <laughs> yes, yes, sure, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's the adopted daughter in law of, of Goa, so I, I, I'll leave it at that. But, yeah, but yeah. you're the son of Goa. So, <laughs> so let, let's talk about you. I, I spoke of David Williams, uh, I spoke of Eric Patlu and Amrinder Singh. So let me just quickly go through some of the compliments that you've been getting, and I was noting it down. David Williams says he's brave. He's one of the best. Eric Patlu says he's the toughest opponent I have faced in the ISL. And he's a beast. Amrinder Singh, Paji, who spoke to me in Hindi, but was very clear that he wanted to say this in English. And he said he's a smiling tank. He's an engine. What do you feel when you get compliments like these, Roland? Do you just go sit in the room and lock yourself up and say, wow, I don't want to respond to this. There are too many compliments. First of all, I like to say thank you. Thanks to all of them. Uh, when you uh, get this type of compliment, especially from opponents, it's uh, it's really good feeling so, because your hard work, your dedication has been noticed. Only not from yeah. your teammates, but as well as opponents. So it really feels nice. But uh, I take this those compliments and keep my head down and work hard as I can. Roland, I'll give you one I'll give you one suggestion only in the rest of this live session. Compliments, the reply, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. Because I have a lot of 
<laughs> no okay on a serious note i i also spoke to elko shatori on the, on let's football live rolling and kafi lambi baat hui and there were lots of things that he said uh, elko ko indian football ke bare mein kafi pata hai he spent so much time in india yes. and he spoke very openly about all the players including you and he said that one of the things i noticed about uh, roland borges in my time with north east united fc is like usko piche khelne ki zarurat nahi hai he's somebody who's a very good goal scorer so i would prefer if he is used as a you know as a box to box midfielder rather than somebody just just sitting and he he compared yeah. you to a kevin de bruyne he said look i know it's a very big compliment but i want to if i were to yeah. compare him to one player i'll say kevin de bruyne what is that relationship with elko like because you guys were like father son when you were playing for the highlanders weren't you my relationship with uh, coach elko was good yeah, but uh, uh, we didn't talk too much uh, uh we had i think one three times uh, meeting with uh, one v one so in in those meeting he told me just enjoy the game just play it give your best and uh, to be at uh, eight don't go below that just try to maintain it so that sort of confidence he gave me and um, and yeah. uh, i uh perform as the way he wanted me and uh, it turned out good as uh, it was a great season for us and eventually we qualified and uh, it was the first time that not is qualified also under him so it was a good season for us that uh, certainly was a lot of city fans are on this don't worry guys we'll be talking about mumbai city fc also but it was really you know northeast and that season that you had in 2018 19 roland where you came to the party what was it four goals and and two assists if i could ask you uh, your favorite memory from that season what would that be sorry sorry can you repeat i'm saying if i could ask please. you your 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 favorite memory from that season 2018 19 season 5 what would that be <laughs> the match against chennai <laughs> where i scored the a winner. self goal <laughs> self goal assist and a goal as well a winner <laughs> you know do you know you're the only player in isl to do that <laughs> one goal then you provide an assist to bartok beche and then and then you this goal i just talk i don't know if it's mine is it mine roland is that is that your side or my side i don't know i'm not very sure i am also not sure <laughs> great let's both let's both be unsure and let's let's hope that it works <laughs> with the with the internet connection yeah yeah so 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 northeast uh, 4-3 win against chennai is, is your favorite memory yeah, no, no, no. and i remember there was a story of elko shitori with the boots what is that story you tell you, you you tell us now what was that entire story all about because there was a tweet that he put out and i think it was an instagram post as well of your boots yeah. या मैंने इंस्टाग्राम पे एक पोस्ट डाला था तो उस पर ट्विटर पे शायद कोच ने रिप्लाई किया था कि अगर मैं इफ आई डोंट स्को इन द नेक्स्ट मैच देन ही इज गोइंग टू टेक अवे माय बूट्स सो इवेंचुअली आई स्कोर इन द नेक्स्ट मैच एंड देन वी क्लिक दैट फोटो एंड देन एवरीथिंग केम अप लाइक रोलिन गार्ड टू किप हिज बूट्स एंड ऑल Yeah, yeah, fantastic! Oh, what great memories as well. What a comeback that was! I think you guys were yeah. what was it, three one down, and then three three over the half time. Just before, uh, just before you scored the winner, you came back in the second half, and I think in the fifty fourth minute you scored the winner. That's all I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we were losing two two zero. Then uh, it was two one in yeah. first half. I think. Then in second yeah. in second half, oh, I, I think. in second half i scored the winner yeah i know i know i know you scored the winner i'm just saying 
at half time do you remember what the talk was like was what was obeche saying what was gaego saying what was the discussion like because you guys came from behind and you made it 3-3 but abhi match jeeta nahi tha yeah uh obeche told us that uh, we can do this uh, even though the i think we were losing in the first half so yeah. he told us that we can win this match and uh, and everyone else was confident that we are going to win and we went out at the half time and we gave our best and eventually we got the three points fantastic okay let's let's go back a little bit thoda nahi matlab 25 26 saal thoda wapas jate hain and and we start we start with uh, the newm village <laughs> newm village in goa which is not too far from patorda right i mean it's a, it's near it's about 5 yes. kilometers away from margaon so it it can't be too far away but uh, when did football yes. start for you roland what what was the what was the journey like initially when i was a kid my dad used to take me for football matches in patorda uh, yeah. i used to go to play see uh, dempos sporting club the goa's matches uh, yeah as growing up my childhood hero was climax by then i used to love watching sunil by then uh, obviously uh, apart from indian footballers uh, uh, foreigners as well like jivan uh, sinan ronaldinho they were my idols right. so when i used to go to watch matches and that time the matches uh, were starting at around 4:30 like that so after watching match i used to see them watch them and learn and then when i after watching the match i used to come to play with my friends and and then i try to do do those things when i used to play with my friends fantastic uh, there was a question there was a question from uh, I, i think uh who is it is a turning point in life yeah mr fraud he says who has supported you the most in your life because you said your dad took you for dempo and sporting club de goa matches who is it that supported you the, the the most was it your dad who said who encouraged you yeah i think you guys really i think you should be playing football yeah my my dad has always supported me uh my first when i started playing football my mom was little worry for me because i was skinny and uh, because i used to fall sick a couple of times so my mom yeah. was little worried so but my dad was like okay go continue he was, he has always supported me in uh, throughout my journey till now it must have been fascinating that i mean goa has such a great culture right i mean from brahmanand shankwalkar the, the legends uh, i saw bruno coutinho's goal yesterday in the in, from the 96 game against philippines so bruno coutinho savio oh, madeira yeah. derek pereira uh, clifford miranda of course who's you know who, who, uh, who was the interim coach of fc goa alongside derek uh, there's some there's some big big names who who've come out of that but uh, who were who was some of, who was some of your idols growing up you said climax by was one of your one of your idols but uh, were you did you get a chance to interact with some of these legends of goan football when you were growing up yes i have talked with climax by a lot of time uh, then uh, uh, there was one more guy like uh, i have like when i was in sporting uh, i get to i get a ch- i got a chance to play with uh, bibiano by then joe pereira yeah. yeah they also helped me a lot so it was unse bhi thoda sikhta tha aur wo log bhi thoda advice dete the to usse sikhte sikhte abhi हो गया इधर पर आप पर बनना किसकी तरह चाहते थे वो हु इज द वन प्लेयर यू सेड ओके यार दिस इज द गाय आई वांट टू बी लाइक व्हेन आई ग्रो अप क्लाइमैक्स भाई क्लाइमैक्स या या व्हाट व्हाट अ प्लेयर व्हाट अ प्लेयर इट एंड बट यू मेंशन बिबियान दैट टू गिव यू एडवाइस अ यू नो व्हेन यू वर व्हेन यू वर ट्राइंग टू ब्रेक इनटू यू नो बिकमिंग अ प्रोफेशनल फुटबॉलर sorry i didn't get that i'm saying I, i was just asking you if if bibiano gave you some advice uh, you know you mentioned bibiano fernandez did he, did you did he give you certain advice that that has stayed with you ever since yeah 
when uh, he was in sporting and uh, i was as a young kid uh, he told me that my first touch is good so keep continue keep working hard uh, you will get there and you will become a good player yeah Uh, he's certainly inspiring a revolution by himself as a coach now, uh, Bibiano, and his team are fantastic yes. to watch. His, but but just he, but yeah, sorry, his team is saying, doing pretty well. It was. And do you guys like stay in touch and do you, do you interact with each other uh, still? WhatsApp पे बात बात होती है थोड़ी बहुत. अभी तो थोड़ा अभी तो नहीं होते हैं लेकिन कभी जब मिल मिलते हैं like uh, when we were in yeah. national team camp in Goa. Viviano coach came to see us and we allowed him. Yeah. Yeah. जब भी मिलते हैं तभी बात होती है ऐसे तो नहीं लेकिन जब मिलते हैं तभी होता ही है बात. And you, and you mentioned watching Dempo and Sporting Club the Goa games. When you got your first professional contract with Sporting, uh, Roland, what was it like? Was that was that the moment you thought नहीं अब अब मैं फुटबॉल ही खेलूँगा यार this is this is my this is where I want to uh, this is the direction in which I want to head. हाँ यस जब वेन आई गॉट फर्स्ट कॉल फ्रॉम स्पोर्टिंग एक्चुअली आई वेंट फ्रॉम जूनियर एकेडमी ऑफ स्पोर्टिंग टू सीनियर लेवल सो वेन दे साइन मी इन द सीनियर टीम दैट इज वेन आई थॉट दैट आई वॉन्ट स्टॉप आई विल कंटिन्यू प्लेइंग फुटबॉल Yeah, fantastic. Okay, I'll I'll take a few fan fan questions as well, uh, Roland, because there were so many people from Goa as well who who messaged, which is interesting because you 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 haven't played for FC Goa just yet. You're a Mumbai City FC player, so in case you go and watching this, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, okay, there was there was one from uh, there was one uh, about you know playing for your country. But before you before I come to the point about playing for your country, Stephen Constantine had told me I think at the end of season two of ISL, which was pretty. He said uh, in an interview. He told me he's like, Roland Borges is the best Indian player not playing in the Hero Indian Super League. Uh, and he said that he really needs to be playing. Was it was it frustrating for you, Roland? That the first two years of ISL was, and you know you didn't get a chance to play in the ISL while everybody else you knew in the you know in the setup was playing. Yeah, it was frustrating, but I knew eventually I will make it, and I worked hard for it, and uh, then. Uh, I got a call in the national team as well, and then I got a contract uh, with the North East. Yeah, and that was under Nello Vingada in that uh, in 2016, that season three of uh, of yeah. ISL. What was it like yeah. first first coming to the ISL, going to Guwahati, playing in playing for North East United FC that season? Yeah, <laughs> I have to tell you, I was under a lot of pressure because that was. Uh, my first time i would i will be playing outside goa so uh, i was nervous but uh, my teammates management even the coaches and the other coaching staff helped me and uh, i had a pretty good season okay like but uh, it done it didn't turn out it didn't ended like we wanted but uh, as a team we did did pretty well we Fought till the end, and uh, I think we were knocked out at the last game against Kerala, which was must win for us. Yeah, I remember. Was season shuru bada chhau wada. I think you had about ten points in the first five games, uh, mm-hmm. three wins and a draw, something like that. And uske baad uh, things changed. Alfaro was in that team. Subrata Paul was in that team, if I remember correctly. Yes. Uh, and uh, I don't Nico know. Harisha and Nazri was also in that. Yeah. Nico Velez. Yeah. yeah. He was playing another season. Yes. What was it like sharing a dressing room with some of these international players, and how did it change the way you started preparing for matches? मतलब आपने कुछ अलग किया when you came to an ISL and you saw the professional setup over there? हाँ, uh, obviously. भी match से पहले या match के एक दिन पहले मैंने अपने और opponents के video देखने चालू किए, उनका matches देखने चालू किए. तो उससे थोड़ा सीखने को मिला अपना भी गेम इम्प्रूव किया और दूसरे का भी थोड़ा सीखने के लिए मिला सो दैट इज आई आई बीन प्रिपेयरिंग माय सेल्फ फॉर द मैचेस 
somebody just wished you happy birthday is it your birthday rolin i might have missed it no 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 it was on 5th exactly they wishing you belated wish that's what i'm saying thank you i thank remember you, wishing you, so you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah adil's online as well hi adil as you can see go and pouring into this uh, instagram live session which is always good that's that we don't mind wednesday evening in goa right now would have been very different to how things are where we are at the moment <laughs> anyway okay yeah, so then uh, then you move to you. Uh, sorry yeah you were saying no no a few days back in goa it was raining now it's a uh, little bit hot humid over here now मुझे पता है वहां बारिश हो रही थी मैं आई वाज ट्राइंग टू गेट ब्रांडन ऑन लेट्स फुटबॉल लाइव एंड ब्रांडन्स कनेक्शन वाज वाज एक्टिंग अप अ लिटिल बिट तो ब्रांडन नहीं आ पाया हां वही तो अभी तो थोड़ा अच्छा है अभी बारिश होगा तो इंटरनेट कनेक्शन जाएगा आई नो आई नो या एग्जैक्टली दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम बट यू नो योर आई जस्ट वी जस्ट स्पीकिंग ऑफ योर कनेक्शन विद द विद द आईएसएल तो पहला सीजन नेलो विंगाडा के अंडर विद अल्फारो एंड सुप्रता एंड Nico Velez or the dusa season that which was around which was 2017 18 season 4 turned so good so usme kya learning thi roland because national team mein aap khel rahe the ab aap squad ka hissa the lekin isl mein uh, jab aap khel rahe the to you know the team wasn't being able to uh, click the same way yeah, yeah. in that season uh, before in pre season only i got a injury very bad injury uh, i was out for almost yeah. two months then when i came back uh, i came back uh, i didn't play i didn't played starting two matches of the season and then when i came back i was not fit i was le- i was low in confidence then the team was losing so yeah. that season didn't went well and that was the worst season of my career till now yeah but but things changed very quickly rolin because uske agle season phir elko came to uh, northeast uh, what was it like sharing a dressing room yeah. with uh, ogbeche gaego uh, and elko okay yeah okay. <laughs> it was uh, ba sharing a dressing room with uh, baat pedrico they, they were good player we all know but they were equally good uh, human beings it was the best part of our them not only them the other foreigners as well as the indian players they were good human beings and they were ready to if i said something to federico or i if i tell something to bath they won't say they don't know you can't tell me they would listen and as well as they will also tell us what to do what we need to do while playing in even in practices and that yeah. is how we were as a family we were as brothers and uh, we eventually at the end we got the result certainly did there was only the obviously it was a historic season for north east because they made it to the to the playoffs for the first time lekin phir semi final mein pehla leg jeetne ke baad aap log bengaluru gaye you had to miss that match because of uh, because of injury or beche was on the bench but i think that was only for sort of tactical reasons and uh, gaego got injured before uh, north east conceded uh What was the morale like, uh, Roland? क्या बात हुई आप लोगों की match के बाद? Because everybody must have been so disappointed. इतना अच्छा season रहा, लेकिन उसको उतनी अच्छी तरीके से finish नहीं कर पाए. पहला leg जीतने के बावजूद. Season तो अच्छा रहा, लेकिन अगर finishing अच्छा होता तो हम लोग शायद और भी अच्छा हो सकता था. But at the in the main the main game we wanted our main players. they got injured especially bat and federico they were our main guys yeah. and we miss in that game especially in in the second game we missed them a lot especially bat because yeah. of the partnership between bat and federico it was uh, amazing to see they were combining so well like uh, bat federico federico no knew that uh, where bat is going to run and uh, where to give him the ball and uh, bath knew yeah. that federico is going to pass him the federico is going to pass him the ball where he wants him correct yeah they they seem to be they seem to be in sync all the time both the, both the and and gaigo as well but i was looking at your numbers rolin main aapke numbers dekh raha tha from that season you had a pass accuracy of 
यू नो एटी टू परसेंट आई थिंक फोर गोल्स टू असिस्ट वो तो सब जानते हैं एवरी वन नोज द नंबर ऑफ गोल्स यू स्कोर बिकॉज यू आर एल्को शिटोरी स्केवन डे ब्रॉयना इन दैट सीजन एंड यू हैव द हाइस्ट एवरेज पासिस पर गेम इन योर इंटायर करियर आई मीन वॉट चेंज फॉर यू रोल इन इन दैट सीजन दैट यू सडनली वेंट Uh, one of the good midfielders in india to the best i, I think uh, uh before that season as i have said that uh, it was worst season of my career as of till now uh, then alco came in and he gave me that confidence and that give me gave me a boost to do so yeah. well in the next season under him i think the credit goes to coach alco who gave me that confidence to go up score run do what you want and just enjoy yeah. and just give your best and that confidence helped me to uh, get those numbers correct i can see a lot of people are, are giving me a lot of compliments for not speaking about mumbai right now so guys my apologies but you do realize roland borges played for three seasons for northeast united fc as well but okay quickly moving on to to mumbai city fc since so many fans want to hear only about that uh, that decision to come to mumbai roland what, you know how how was that prompted kisne kisne aapko bola mumbai aane ke liye and why were you convinced to play under george costa it was my decision uh, i wanted a new challenge and uh, the way mumbai was playing uh, under coach george costa they were physical so i wanted to test my uh, physical side so before signing i they told me that uh, coach is going to stay so i wanted to test myself that if i am really that strong physically if i am uh, good in defensively so that is the reason that uh, i signed for mumbai but uh, apart from that uh, as a team i always wanted to win i was quite qualify but uh, it end up the way I, i wanted but we are going to try next year and eventually we get uh, the trophy that's the spirit and that's exactly what some of the fans on this uh, want to hear as well you know to go for the trophy and uh, uh, now with the with the cfg group coming in you know there's uh, there's likely to be a, a big change as well in in the mentality and the mindset rolling कितना फायदा मिलेगा इसका मुंबई को सिटी फुटबॉल ग्रुप एज वी ऑल नो दे आर बेस्ट इन वॉट दे डू एंड दिटी फुटबॉल ग्रुप कमिंग इन दिटी ऑफ सिटी लाइक मुंबई इट शोज द पोटेंशियल इन दिटी ऑफ मुंबई एंड इट विल बी अ गुड लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड इट विल बी uh yeah. in few years it will be a club i that everyone wants to join yeah sorry the the the, the network was a bit patchy over there uh but you said you said something about you know good experience for the youngsters what was the experience like for you because you were in the same dressing room as uh, you know paulo machado who's been such a good player for mumbai city fc shermiti ne gol mare khub labi was playing well for mumbai city fc as well and you know there were there were lots of good indian players in that squad particularly in the defense who were you know who stood out this season yes we uh, as a team we did uh, yeah, uh, as a team uh, we were trying our level best to achieve what we decided at the start of the season that was to uh, finish at the top then uh, yeah. we like if we couldn't do that then we thought that of uh, qualifying for the to- top four even we couldn't do that but we were k- kept trying 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 and we were knocked out at the last match you know we everyone was giving their best uh, everyone was fighting for the playoffs uh, everyone was working hard i didn't saw anyone was okay chot de chot let's move we won't qualify like that but uh, everyone was giving their best everyone was working really hard uh, to to uh, get uh, to the playoffs yeah. 
Yeah, I, I can, I can, I can imagine. Just towards the end, I mean, it, it came to those last two games, uh, and you know, if Goa came out, Goa wala match, uh, it didn't go to plan, and then just after that was the was the Chennai game. How difficult was that, uh, Roland? Because you know, the 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 arena was was expecting Mumbai to go through in that game. आप लोगों के लिए कितना डिफिकल्ट था उसके बाद और जॉर्ज कॉस्टा ने आपको क्या कहा मैच के बाद मैच के बाद तो कुछ 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 ने बोला ही सेड ही इज प्राउड ऑफ अस ही सेड वी गेव आवर बेस्ट वी फॉट हार्ड वी फॉट टिल द एंड एंड दैट वाज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट या बट एट द एंड इट्स अ फाइटिंग एट द एंड विन win win always matters but uh, it was hard luck for us that we couldn't qualify maybe that yeah, was certainly. maybe we were missing one of our one two of our key players like machado yeah. who got yeah. injured you speak of machado what's the what what are the what are some of the things you've noticed machado ke bare mein jo जो आपने या तो पहले नहीं देखी और यू टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम इट समथिंग अबाउट मशाडो दैट्स डिफरेंट फॉर यू फ्रॉम अदर प्लेयर्स यस ही इज ऑफ द फील्ड ही इज वेरी फनी ही इज वन ऑफ द फनीस्ट गाइस ही इज फन टू बी अराउंड इट बट ऑन द फील्ड ही इज फुली कंसंट्रेटेड ही इज फुली मोटिवेटेड ही ऑलवेज ट्राई टू गिव हिज बेस्ट ही ऑलवेज ट्राई टू पुश द प्लेयर्स ही he won he will always like to fight on the ground he will run he will, he will do everything what he is is in his hand to give his best for the team and that is what i like the most about him but off the field is very fun i i com- i completely agree because uh, a couple of fans have mentioned it as well when he pulls the shot he hits uh, to go towards the corner flag I think that's one of the best moments I've had uh, watching in in the ISL. Is that your favorite celebration as well? Machado scoring and him celebrating. <laughs> when he score, when he does that celebration, I just stand there and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what a player he, he's turned out to be. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask. You, I'm gonna put you on the spot and ask you. your favorite memory of playing at at the mumbai football arena it's exactly 2 years to the day that india lifted their last trophy uh, you know at the mumbai football arena so it's only fitting that i ask you yeah it was great victory uh, it was uh, one of the most memorable thing uh, to win the against team like kenya chinese taipei new zealand it yeah. was great learning experience for us and the way we won it it was even more it was one of the sweetest memories that i will cherish cherish my entire life yeah certainly was i was lucky enough to be on the broadcast and i remember seeing those visuals i call them the visuals for the ages uh, just seeing the fans you know uh, doing the viking clap with all the players and stuff it was you know goosebumps seriously when i when i think about it till today uh that that moment is that moment was absolutely amazing yes it was it was yeah it was special now rohan you you got into the national team in the saf cup back in you know 20 2015 and uh, uh and, and i remember you scoring that goal against against uh, against nepal as well when you nepal. first got a call up uh, first got a call up for the national team since we the national right now what was it like who did you call and say listen i've just got a call and i'm going to join the national team camp when i got the first call up i was surprised because uh, i was not getting much time in sporting that time but uh, yeah. i think when i was play, uh, coach i came to see some of the matches so on that he has uh, called me so when i got the first call up i was surprised that am i really my name is really there <laughs> then uh, <laughs> then it came on the newspaper and all uh, then i got okay i'm there <laughs> but were you were you intimidated you know when jab aap dressing room mein pehli baar gaye you saw sunil chetri sitting there uh, 
uh, and you saw JJ and all these guys. Did, did you think, yeah, I'm going to TV and now I'm in the TV. Like, yeah, okay. Big deal. Yes. When I went to the first time in the dressing room, then maybe Kevin, Kevin Lobo, Francis Fernandez. Kevin was there. Maybe those people were there. Yeah. So, Kevin, I know him. Francis, I know him. So, those people also helped me a little bit. When I went first time in the dressing room, they helped me because I was so nervous. Because... to share the same dressing room with uh, sunil bhai jj it was amazing feeling yeah i i, I can i can visualize that because you know it, you're getting a national team call up it's something you always wanted to do and then suddenly people who've been playing for the team for uh, what four five years jj had been playing for four years by then sunil bhai for nine years i guess by then already so your your seniors technically so although you grown you grown up watching sunil so uh, I, i wonder how sunil reacts to stuff like this very very when roland borges who's now his teammate tells him main bade hote hue aapko dekhta tha and you're still playing for the, you're still playing for the same team <laughs> no, but what's it like what's it like in fact you know what let's 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 play this round i play with uh, uh, with all my all the players who come on on let's football live it's called it's called the uh, one touch let's football okay Uh, so basically, okay. I'm going to give you some short, short clues, and you have to guess the player I'm talking about. You ready for this? Okay. Yes. Okay. Obviously, you'll know the player, but let's see how many clues you take to get it. Right. Uh, I hold the record. No, I'll give you a different clue. I'm from Goa, and we've never played together at club level, but started together for India in the game against Qatar, the famous game against Qatar. Uh, Mandar. That's the one. Well done. Yeah, the, I see. I was going to give you a, a, an easier clue. This is a harder clue. So well done on guessing, guessing Mandar. Mandar is your national team. Uh, I mean, he's your, he's your, you know, he's also your roommate when you guys travel with the national team, right? Yes. Yes. What's it like sharing a dressing room with Mandar? Are you because you both are very quiet and you both are very shy. So is it just like, you know, you're both on your phones watching TV and not really talking to each other, or do you guys actually interact? कभी कभी बात हो जाता है and making fun of each other <laughs> nice one okay that that's that's as rare as rare can be okay the the next clue for the player i'm looking for is uh, i was your northeast united teammate in season 3 and 4 of the isl so that's 2016 and 2017 18 holy charan Wow, that that was hardly a clue, and you guessed it right, Ali Charan. Listen, I have not told this guy anything. Okay, this he is completely guessing this, and yeah, absolutely, Abhishek. He is very, very humble, as uh, Abhishek is rightly pointed out. Ali Charan is all has also been your uh, roommate for, for national team games, right? Before, and he's yeah, also yeah. very quiet. Before, yes. <laughs> uh, when we are uh, when we, हम लोग जब कभी रहते साथ तो ऐसे ही अपना प्रैक्टिस रूम कभी जिम जाएगा भाई उसको जिम जाना है तो बोलते भाई चलो जिम जाएगा अगर मेरे को जाना है तो भाई चलो जिम जाएगा तो दोनों हमेशा साथ रहते थे अभी भी बात हुई है सही है इट्स नाइस ही इज वेरी नाइस गाय वेरी हम्बल इट्स नाइस टू स्पेंड टाइम विथ हिम certainly is but i'm just wondering what is this pattern so mandar doesn't talk too much he's, he's quite reserved quite shy uh, hali charan doesn't talk too much he's quite quite reserved quite shy so are you it's almost like when you get a list of national team players acha main i'll choose the guy who's the quietest i don't want a guy in my room who wants 
that criteria <laughs> before the camp start i message my uh, message our manager and tell him i want uh, mandar i want holi <laughs> Oh, you message? Okay, all right. So, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, so that uh, there is silence in the room. <laughs> so, tell me one guy who you don't want to share a room with. Definitely, कोई तो एक ऐसा बंदा होगा जिसके साथ you don't want to be in a room. ऐसा कोई नहीं. Come on, Roland. Been... You can give up. So, मैं अब जब भी तक national camp में हूँ तब तक मैंने ज्यादा से ज्यादा वही पार्टनर चूज किए हैं जिनके साथ मैं कंफर्टेबल हूँ सो मोस्टली इट विल बी होली नाउ इट्स बंदर एंड बिफोर आई हैव यूजिन के साथ भी रहा हूँ मैं वो भी सेम है यूजिन सो सो वेरी क्वाइट या दैट्स दैट्स ट्रू आई मीन And, and you know speaking of eugene there are there are there are so many and we've spoken of machado also eugene uh, earlier you know there was a there was a case where there was people were people wanted to be like i am vijayan people wanted to be like raman vijayan or sunil chetri or joe paul and cherry or be like goalkeepers like subrato paul and you know all the good goalkeepers that india has produced uh, in in a line suddenly roland now your position you know playing in the middle of the park has become so so glamorous i look at amarjeet i look at jixen laling moya Uh, Anirudh Thapa, Edwin Sidney. Everybody wants to be able to play their part in the midfield. Rainier Fernandez included, right? What is what has been the trans? Why do you think that's happened in India? As a as a Q, what do you think? Suddenly, people want to be midfielders because it's the main position of the team, and uh, I think that is the reason. If your if it say in football, it says it uh, midfield is the heart and soul of the team. that is good then uh, the whole team will be good maybe that is the reason that uh, the uh, everyone wants to be play want to play in that position and the players you mentioned yeah. they are so much talented and uh, i just wish them all the best what did you notice about rainier's game because uh, you know suddenly we've seen rainier's growth as well over the last year and now he's your he's your teammate he's also with the national team uh rainier ke bare mein kuch bataiye hame the naughty or the better <laughs> rainier ek is uh, time pass lekin uh, he is same like uh, machado Uh, off the field, yeah. it's fun to be around with him. Hasta re, hasta ta re gaya, jokes karta re gaya, kuch bhi. But on the field, he works hard. He runs a lot. He fights. He gives his all out. He uh, every time he on the field, he gives everything, whatever he has, and that is a good thing about him. But off the field, musti mazak. Yeah, I. I can't disagree, and 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 I've watched a few episodes of Rainier TV as well during the season. So uh, I know he's he's also looking at pulling people's leg all the time. So yeah, all that time, yeah. Of the field, he yeah. likes to do that a lot. <laughs> That's true. But like how time pass, <laughs> Rainier Fernandez equal to time pass. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. But he, like you, you know, he's always smiling, and it's it's always very good to see such a warm personality uh, yeah. every time you you meet him. But uh, but you know, you've also shared you've also been in the middle of the park with somebody like an, a lot of people say nice things about you and how much you've grown as a player, and also about Anirudh Thapa. What's it been? Uh, what's it been like? You know, playing with uh, Thapa at the national team. It's it's been good. He's really very talented. Very very. I think he is uh, one of my favorite players in the in the whole ISL. He is pure pure talent as well as he works. Up. So, so I wish him all the best, and uh, in few years he will be the best. I think if not the best, then one of the best. He is one of the best now, but I think he will grow higher and higher. 
is there is there one midfielder in the current national team or uh, mumbai city fc that you like the most if if i one midfield team nahi khel sakti who would that be for me that would be possibly both you and thapa but if you were to pick one uh, uh one will be i like rainier a lot and then uh, i also like uh, how bidyananda plays yeah, there lots of lots of these guys i i remember seeing sort of das as well for for mumbai city fc you know he got a few opportunities sort yeah. of das so do do these guys come up to you do they take your advice as well yeah sometimes uh whatever i can in whichever they way i can help them i try to give help them but uh, they are good guys good talent i hope they work hard and uh, be the best yeah that certainly that it's not just it's not, it's not just with mumbai it's with the national team as well okay i'm going to take a few fan questions rolling that that came for you early on So let's see if, uh, by the way, someone's called you an Indian Casemiro, an Indian Conte. Uh, you already been called the Indian KDB, Kevin De Bruyne. So, uh, like I said, start preparing those lines where you say, you know, okay, this is how I receive a compliment, <laughs> and get ready for more. Okay, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to ask you a few questions that the fans sent when we got to know them, when they got to know that you're coming on the live. Uh, Mr. Fraud, ignore the name. I love the name. Uh, what was the turning point in your life? Mr Fraud wants to know turning point uh turning point in life or in my footballing career like uh, i i'll say it's a, your in, you know your footballing career yeah. turning point in my footballing career will be when i got the national team call up from that from there everything started my right. career Perfect. went like this can't disagree with that that's that, that's that's got to be the one mr fraud also had another question uh saying no one mr fraud sorry i'll only take one question from you kyle disuza 19 wants to know your experience of playing in mumbai what's it been your experience good. playing for mumbai uh, it was really good i enjoyed a lot uh the fans were amazing they supported uh the team in uh, yeah in every match uh, even though we didn't ended up uh, the way we wanted but they the fans were always there behind us and that that was quite amazing somebody i just missed the missed the name but there somebody just asked uh, about your footballing idol who would you consider your footballing idol I have already mentioned Climax by Climax by in India, but abroad. Uh, Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane. All right, yeah. What a player! Chinmoy Shekhar uh, wants to know what do you think is important for a central defensive midfielder: holding play or creating spaces for attack? What do you think is more important? Sorry, sorry, I didn't got the question. Can you please repeat? Uh, there's a question from Chinmoy Shekhar. Who CDM के लिए क्या ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है होल्डिंग प्ले और यू नो कंट्रीब्यूटिंग और क्रिएटिंग स्पेस फॉर अटैक व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज़ मोर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर अ फॉर अ सेंट्रल डिफेंसिव मिडफील्डर आई थिंक इट्स आई थिंक एस अ डिफेंसिव मिडफील्डर यू द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज़ टू रीड द सिचुएशन व्हेन यू हैव टू गो yeah uh, help your defenders i think the most important thing for a defensive midfielder would be to read the situation when you have to go to pressure so i think the reading of the game is the most important thing okay then there's a question from kpro_717 who wants to know your views on the west coast brigade as soon as you come out of the tunnel on the left they're singing loud and proud your views i they i they they are amazing uh, they i think uh, they are the best fans for me 
special there you go thank you i'm sending I, you blue hearts thank you for thank you so much for the love that uh, they have shown especially for me as the as last season was my first year and uh, yeah it was i was overwhelmed by the love they shown towards me so thank you so much i don't know about kdb uh, roland but your name has certainly become rtb because you you've suddenly become you got tank in the middle of your name there's so many fans are calling you the tank the tank the tank you may as well start responding someone says tank and you can you can just look back and say mere bare mein hi baat kar raha hu main all right who do you think is the best defender in isl anjal sachu 119 wants to know uh best defender uh, uh foreigner it's uh, for me uh, it's fal uta da fal best best uh, foreigner if you were to pick an indian defender uh sandesh sandesh yeah unfortunately i had to miss out of the season mumbai city fc saying you were the 2019 20 uh, fans player of the season which i don't think is surprising at all or is it <laughs> okay uh there was another one from uh uh mr adiz mr adiz i am adiz ten wants to know how to train how to train my mind to practice harder hey, do you do you like drill do you, do you do you do drills like meditation and stuff for the mind as well that was a tongue twister <laughs> no i don't do that but uh, i don't do that uh, but if you want you can uh, but uh, i'm always motivated because i want to be the best version of myself so i try to work hard as much as i can okay yeah not too much focused on that just, you just you just go back to your room and then the and and life takes over after that you don't really worry too much about football What do you do in a in a in a hotel room? Like when you come back from a game, what do you do? Do you watch TV? Do you do you play FIFA? Do you what do you do usually? Uh, after sometimes if I get uh, like if there is a training session in the evening and then I come, I just lie down. I watch some football and then uh, I sleep. Or else if uh, if I have a roommate, then we play FIFA. Or else Netflix. Or else, net. Is there a particular series you're watching on? You are. Right now, I'm watching the last dance. Okay, you haven't finished it yet, have you? No, no. I, uh, I think I'm on eighth episode now. Yeah, no. You can't be on the eighth. I think six episode. I was me rolling. You must be on the fourth. No, yeah. Eight? <laughs> I was just checking if you're watching. How many have you watched finally? <laughs> Now I'm on eight. Yeah, yeah so, that's the one. So you're 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 about to reach one, the end. Or, per day, per day, I try to watch one or two. Not more than that. I can't finish the right, uh, whole series in a day. You can't finish in one day, the whole series. No chance, no chance. No, but what do you? How you spend your days? Is it uh, apart from training and of course trying to stay fit? How do you help out in the house because you have a brother and a sister as well, right? Yes. ऐसे ही भाई और बहन के साथ time pass करता हूँ. कभी-कभी भाई और मेरा भाई और मैं PlayStation खेलते हैं और कभी-कभी दोनों साथ में training करते हैं. ऐसे और हो जाता है टाइम स्पेंड फेयर इनफ ओके जस्ट बिफोर आई जस्ट बिफोर आई यू नो लुकिंग एट दिस रोलिन आई एम गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू गेट इनटू अ रैपिड फायर विद यू एंड यू हैव टू आंसर एज एज पॉसिबल ओके ओके रेडी ओके एल्को शिटोरी और जॉर्ज कोस्टा एल्को जॉर्ज कोस्टा <laughs> Steven Constantine or Igor Stevens? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> the if you ask me the style of play which i like it's yeah why not the, uh, yeah. ego stream ego stream match is style of uh, anything that is uh, any, okay. anything that that he said what's your relationship like with ego stream match since you mentioned him it's good uh, when i got injured he met me and he told me to get some uh, uh, do your treatment well recover fast take care he, whenever i yeah. meet him he has good interaction with me so the relation it's uh, it's building up and uh, as lo- as many as came uh, i've been called so it will grow and go as of from my side let's see how it goes excellent okay uh, midfield partner pranoy haldar or anirudh thapa thapa bebinka or gon fishkari <laughs> gon fishkari <laughs> okay i am sure you're staying away from sweet as much as possible okay goal against nepal or goal against macau uh nepal your first goal for the national team okay scoring a goal or providing an assist goal or providing assist sorry i missed that assist assist okay tougher opponent to face jahu or patlu jahu i missed it again sorry rolin what was that again jahu 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 yeah what a player man uh, tougher opponent to face uh, jahu than playing at fatorda stadium or playing at salt lake stadium you scored at both the venues in the isl yeah playing at uh, kolkata playing at kolkata yeah tackle or interception you led you led the numbers in both for mumbai city fc what do you prefer you like Sensei, tackling I, uh, tackling tackle or interception uh tackling tackling okay <laughs> and who's a bigger prospect uh, for india's midfield uh, saurav das or vidyanand singh in mumbai mm. I think uh, both they are pretty good. Both are pretty okay. <laughs> Even though right, that's they are yeah. the the style of play of both of them is different. It's completely different, but they are good yeah. in whatever they do. They are the best. I can say in what they do. Okay, fair. Very well in that. I thought you you can you know when you don't know the answer you can always say Sahal Abdul Samad. That makes a lot of fans happy. So <laughs> you can just say Sahal. <laughs> quickly can you give me an isl five aside your isl five aside team uh isl five aside uh foreigners will be gurpreet in the goal gurpreet is not a foreigner yeah mato girish foreigner Preet. goalkeeper ka naam pata hi nahi paul and- Mato Girgit. I I've lost you. I've lost. Hello. Lost you over there. Sorry. Gurpreet, Fall, Mato Girgit. Uh, Ogbache. Hello. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh finally just before it comes to an end Roland, do you want to give me do you want to give a message to all the fans of Mumbai City FC? Uh yeah. the way you all supported us it's been amazing. Uh just keep on supporting us uh and uh, we I hope and I'm sure that good times will come. And thank you for the so much love and support that you have shown for club in this past years thank you so much 
Roland, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's been it's been a lot of fun trying to get to know you a little better. Uh, hope Mumbai City FC fans are you know are ready for another season of Roland the Tank Borges. Uh, and also, do do let Rainier Fernandez know what your weekend plans are because he's asked he's asked twice now. So so do <laughs> message him and tell him. Listen, this is what I'm planning on the weekend. Enjoy your fish uh, curry. After, after after this after this call ends, I am going to call him. Oh, he's going to call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Great fun. Great seeing you, uh, you know, doing your business at the Mumbai Football Arena and for the for the national team, Roland. I'll, I'll speak to you soon, man. Thank you so much thank for you, this. Thank and thanks so to Mumbai thank City so FC thank as you, well. Man. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thanks for joining us, guys, on another edition of Let's Football Live. Sorry, the internet, I think, at both ends was a little patchy today. It, sometimes it can happen with uh, Instagram. But we tried to get as many things uh, out of Roland as, as possible over there. Uh, thank you for all your questions that, that came in, uh, you know, from Anjal Sachu, from Ayam Adiz, from Jashank, from Mohammed KPRO717, and all of you, you know, who were, who were on this as well, sending your questions as well. Uh, you know, as we tried to get his entire journey from, uh, you know, getting into the Northeast United FC squad all the way to uh, Mumbai City FC. I wish we had more time. We run out of that today. And, uh, uh, and when we see you very soon for another edition. Until then, it's goodbye. Stay safe and, and take care, guys. Thank you. And also, Roland is the tank, the smiling tank. Bye bye.